So what to do, what to do, what do you do when you find termites? Uh, I'll tell you what not to do is that you don't disturb them. If you think that you've got termites, um, definitely don't go poking around and having a look and things like that. You know why? Because if they go deeper, they retreat and they go deeper in ground and then they are harder to find and then they pop up somewhere else, maybe uh, in the same spot or maybe another spot in the house. So don't touch Watch them. It's Jenny Jordan from A1 Pest Control here in Canberra. Uh, one of the questions that we've always asked or uh, we uh, get asked, uh, sometimes on the weekend when people are in the garden, um, they, uh, they will find um, what they think is termites. Uh, they then panic. Um, and sometimes when we do the renos, people are doing renovations at the moment and um, uh, what they do is that they pull off the, 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 the sheeting and then they discover uh, what they think is termites and they go into panic mode. And the, the best thing that I can tell you is don't panic. Uh, with termites, it's really a step-by-step -step process and it's very easy to sort of start to get ahead of yourself uh, when you think that you've got termites. So what to do? What to do? What do you do when you find termites? Uh, I'll tell you what not to do is that you don't disturb them. If you think that you've got termites, um, definitely don't go poking around and having a look and things like that. You know why? Because if they go deeper, they retreat and they go deeper in ground and then they are harder to find and then they pop up somewhere else, maybe uh, in the same spot or maybe another spot in the house. So don't touch them. If you're having a reno there and you've got builders and things like that, get them to stop. If they say, oh, I found what I think is termites, stop work. Um, don't, um, don't continue work until we've had the inspection. Which brings me to number two, you need to be able to have a termite inspection. Because the thing is, is that you may have found uh, where the termites are, but they could be in other spots other spots throughout the yard or they could have reached inside the property and we want to protect the property so what we do is that you would actually ask us to come out and do a termite inspection uh, here I send out one of my my guys one of my um, gang and they've got a minimum of uh, 20 to 25 years experience in termites they've seen it all right so they come out then and then they'll go through every part of the house. Now there's two ways that you can actually have an inspection. One, number one, is the, the visual, where they go through um, the, uh, start with the roof, they're looking at the, the beams and the plates in there, um, and then they will go um, under the ground and also tapping walls, looking for floors and any sort of, um, any sort of thing that doesn't look quite right. Now that's visual, <laughs> right? The other way that they can go about it and it, uh, what it is, is thermal imaging. And what thermal imaging is, is that we take a, a camera, a thermal imaging camera, and we can actually point it at different areas through the home. So where the technician couldn't get into the, under the floor, or they couldn't get into the roof because of bad weather, whatever, the thermal imaging will get to places where you can't go to, and that is awesome. And um, they are also, when you point the camera, it will point out heat. Now heat indicates termites. It picks up the body heat. It could also pick up the movement. And also what happens too, in a lot of the times when people get thermal imaging, um, they can see house faults uh, behind the wall. Um, so that's really important when you're in the bathroom, for instance, you can see leaking um, and water and moisture is what the termites need. So that's a really um, a hazard. Um, they also pick up electrical faults as well. 
Um, so thermal imaging is very thorough, uh, but um, you know what, um, thermal imaging is fine, um, but it gives you the option. The two options are obviously the uh, the tools that we use are moisture meters, we're using our um, sensories, you know, that we're listening and we're feeling um, the uh, the walls, listening for termites. The thermal imaging, um, it sees beyond what we can actually see. So it's a good idea to have a thermal imaging um, to be able to detect. Um, termites especially in the early stages uh, why I'm saying that is because when we find them we can act on them uh, we can uh, kill them kill them off so that brings us to the third part what do you do if you find termites well the first thing we need to do is that we need to kill them and how do we do that? If they're trees, we drill them and then we inject a termicide. Um, also, what we do is that um, we would kill them inside, again, at, um, applying termicide to them. Now, what we use predominantly is termidor. It is the best, guys. It is nothing better than termidor. Uh, they've been around for a long, long time. And what we love about it is it protects our customers. And how do they do that? When we put a termite protection down, we get, get given a two, I'm sorry, a eight year, $2 million warranty that the termites will not attack the home. That is awesome. So that means that if they, they break that barrier and they get into the home, then um, Termidor are able to, uh, to reimburse you. It's a warranty, it's an insurance policy of not they're so definite that they never had to pay out that insurance at all. So that, that speaks volumes for the product itself. Okay, so what happens is that we've applied it to the trees, we've either drilled the trees or we've applied it inside or wherever we found the termites. And because they're social, because they're social insects, they rub up against each other. They're blind. They can, and what happens is that as they rub up against each other, that a bit of the treatment is applied to the next termite and the next termite and the next termite leading back into the nest and it kills the nest. So that, that's what happens uh, when we find live termites. The third step is uh, we always give an option to the homeowner um, to put down a protection, put, put down a barrier to protect the property. Um, in Canberra especially, there is a lot of older homes. Uh, we are the bush capital, so a lot of the properties are um, on, on um, government, uh, facing government land where there's lots of trees. Now that brings in another thing, if there's termites found uh, outside your boundary, they can travel up to 200 meters to get the wood to feed the nursery. What happens uh, with termites is the queen is there and her job is to uh, lay up to 30,000 live termites a day. So she's busy pumping out these live termites and they are in the nursery. And what happens is that the soldier termites, they are the ones that travel out and find entry points into um, either another tree or um, in many cases, it's a house that they go and attack. And for the homeowner, uh, totally unaware that they've got termites, um, they'll be um, they'll be oblivious because the termites they eat the wood from the inside out. So on the face value, that piece of wood looks fine, but touching that wood, um, it crumbles in the hand. So that is very uh, that is a very good reason why you should have a termite inspection on an annual basis. By doing that. Um, even if we find termites, we find them early enough so that they do minimal damage. Um, they do minimal damage, we can fix it up, uh, get them on, on their way, we can kill them off. And then we normally, uh, people are so worried about the termites is that we put the termite barrier down. Um, it's the only way, guys. The newer homes in Canberra don't have to worry about um, getting protection because the building code insists that they are put down at the time of building. But even having that done, um, everyone should have 
um, uh, an inspection on an annual basis. And it's not even something that's trumped up by the pest control industry. The CSIRO in Canberra recommends at a minimum that termite inspections are done annually. Okay, um, it's not something that um, it's a money making thing for uh, the pest control company. It's uh, recommended by a government organization that you should be having a termite inspection annually. Okay, uh, once that, uh, once that uh, barrier is in, um, and I'll talk about that in another, another video, but I just wanted to show you the steps. One is that we find termites or you find termites. You found it because you've leant up against a wall and it's crumbled um, or you see something um, or you're not sure about something. You give us a call on 0407 065 413 and I'll send one of the team out there and they will identify the termites. After that, um, we need to be able to kill the termites off before they do any further damage. And then uh, the third point is to be able to protect the property. You pay, you know, what, what's the average price of a, a house in Canberra? It's over half a million. So uh, the insurance of actually having a termite inspection is minimal. It costs you hardly anything to protect your investment that's worth over half a million dollars, okay? So that's a no-brainer. I just want to talk to people because they go, ah, I got termites, and that they worry and um, they um, agonize over it. And often I get calls on a weekend um, that they're upset because they have found termites. So basically that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to let you know the steps, the steps that I mentioned before. Once again, before closing, is that we need to identify the termites, if they are termites, if they are, Termites, um, we need to identify the species. There's only three main species that attack the house. It's 30 species in total. Um, some of them uh, don't attack the house. But the three that we have, they are very much alive in Canberra. Okay, once we, we find them, then we look at, uh, we need a pest control company to fix that, uh, uh, identify where the termites are getting in and if they are in any other part of the house. Your job is to not to touch them. Don't spray fly spray on them. Don't um, have a look and start tapping around because the termites, they retreat and they make it harder to be able to um, find them again, to be able to kill them off. Um, and then they pop up in another part of the house, sometimes the same part and sometimes another part. Um, so don't touch them if you've got workmen there, stop work altogether until it's been identified and we've treated the area. Um, and after we've treated them, we need to think um, that um, we need to protect our property. And that is when I'm talking about a barrier. And there's, there's barriers of chemical barrier. Um, there is also bait stations that the technician will walk you through and let you know the best product to protect your property, all right? So it's Jenny Jordan from A1 Pest Control in Canberra. Give me a call on 0407 065 413 and we'll send someone out and check out your place. And um, either pest control or termite inspections, termite barriers, all right? Talk to you soon, guys. Take care.